Do you know what today is? Today is moving day, which means this is the last video in this house. Say goodbye to the jungle wallpaper. We're now gonna be living full time for a year up in Humboldt County. So saying goodbye to the Bay Area, we'll be back down a couple times, maybe for like physical therapy and concerts and seeing friends and things but we're gonna be moving up to the garden house full time. Since I have no idea how long it's gonna take me to settle in, I just wanted to knock out reviewing and applying some new things. I've already done my base, I've got on some mascara because all of the new products to show are lip products and eyeshadow palettes, with the exception of this blush. So let's jump right in. This is the Tarte Man Eater Blush and Glow Cheek Plump in the shade Buff comes with a chubby applicator. I find that this is really nice for applying the product. And then I'm just gonna use it with the Phytosurgeon's Sky Fluff, which is so nice for blending cream blush. This is so, 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 so sheer. So if you're darker than I am, I would not go for the shade. They have a bunch of other shades that are darker and more pigmented. So it just depends on your skin tone. But for me, such a nice barely there slap it on and go kind of shade. And I'm gonna build it up because it's a beautiful kind of shimmery bronze, but not super orange. It definitely has like a little bit of warmth to it. So it's not just like a straight bronzer shade. See when I build it up, man, that's really nice. So if you wanna know what I already have on my face, you can first look at the description box below. I always link the products there. Or you can also watch my previous video, which is the glowy vacation ready makeup. It's the same base routine I do every single time. ColourPop concealer, L'Oreal brow definer, Fit Glow concealer under my eyes, Physician's Formula bronzer. That's it, that's my day to day. This has an interesting scent. It's something like floral fruity. I don't really notice it, but if you're sensitive to that, just a heads up. I'm really interested in getting one of the other shades because someone DM'd me that the blush and glow comes in the same berry shade as Say Dreamy. And I love that product. Say Dreamy is so divine. It's like this dewy blush, mm, winter cheeks, you know the vibe. But you know, sometimes it's a little too dewy. So I'm definitely gonna check out this formula because it's so blendable as you can, you can see, but it sets down and it's got a nice amount of shimmer in it. So you can just skip highlighter. It just really makes the skin look healthy without looking greasy or anything like that. Always got to do a little nose boop. And just in case you wanted a swatch, I will not leave you hanging. Nice shimmery bronze. Man, I love that that blush just made me look like I went on vacation. I did, but I didn't get any color, that's for sure. Now I'm going to go in with the Beauty Pie uh, Triple Beauty Luminizing Wand. This stuff is crazy. Watch. Sorry about my little nub and nails too. I had my Olive and June press-ons for like 17 days. Like they got too much. <laughs> like the space between the, the, like the press-on nail and the cuticle was getting like large. So I took them off and now my nails are just stubs. <laughs> Not the best to look at, but you're, you know, it's fun. So here's the Beauty Pie Luminizing Wand. So nice, right? Wow. And it's not shimmery, you cannot see it on the skin. It's crazy. But look at that. It's like adding a beam of light to your face. It's insane. Do a little there. Wow, 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 wow. This is crazy good. I'm actually gonna do all of the lip products first because the eyeshadows that I have are quite bold. And I don't really want to apply any eyeshadow and have that affect the way that the lip color works. I want you to be able to see the colors really well. So I have the Makeup by Mario Master Metallics palette. This is one option. The other option is I'm getting into some very fun indie brands. This is Give Me Glow. And these are some of the sparkly shades I chose. Coconut Slushy, Roses Remix, Glamorous, Pajamas, and Glittery Champagne. And I'll swatch these a little later, but they're so reflective, I just didn't want them to throw off the lip. So here are all the lip products I have. I think the way I'm gonna do this is I'm gonna apply them from thinnest and most lightweight to thickest. The first product I have is the Fawn Beauty Lip Gloss Serum in the shade Honey, which is a very, very, very sheer, peachy, maybe just peach, peachy beige, peachy nude. To be honest, I didn't want this color, but they were, completely sold out of everything on the website except for three shades. And this seemed the most like wearable for me on a day-to-day -day basis. 
love this paddle applicator that's flexible. I just really don't like like a hard, stiff applicator, you know? It's got to be flexible. Nice sheer peach. The formula is really interesting. This has like a coconut vanilla scent. Some of the ones on their website have different scents, but I think this is the standard scent that most of them have. This is the thinnest um, and the most lightweight out of all of the products that I'm showing today. This to me uh, is less of a gloss serum and much more of a lip oil. The formula contains a lot of oils and it's just, you can barely feel it on your lips. Like it really does not feel like there's anything there. So if you hate the feeling of like thick lip products, if you really don't like anything sticky or long lasting, this is your go-to. It's like barely there, but instead of just being an oil that kind of sinks in and disappears, there is a little bit of that bombiness to it as well. But it just feels like it glides right on. It's most similar to me, not in terms of the way it looks, but the way it feels to the Tower 28 lip jellies. And this is priced really well too. These are $16 through Fawn Beauty. And when they're in stock, they come in a ton of shades. So while personally, these are a little bit too slippy for me, they don't migrate outside my lines like the Tower 28 lip jellies do. Those I just can't get to work. But this is a really nice option for like an affordable, indie brand, small business, woman-owned business, lots of shades, lightweight lip color. I think a lot of people are really gonna love this. Next up on the scale from a lightweight formula to a really grippy formula is the Make Beauty Lip Serum. I got this in the shade Lilac Layer, first of all. I really like this packaging. I think it's like super modern and fun. Obviously, love a chubby applicator. It also has a little dit, like dent in the middle and it really, it collects all of the lip product in that little dent. And here's the thing, this is actually quite thick. I think you can see that there's just like a lot of kind of like whipped, fluffy looking product there. However, it feels like nothing on the lips. It's only like slightly thicker and grippier than the Fawn Beauty Gloss, but it, this is barely there. It feels kind of like liquid silk. And I was really hoping that this would have more grip, and so it would be a little bit more long-lasting, a little bit more nourishing. But, you know, I think that there's a place in my collection for this. I don't have anything like it. It's basically like the Fit Glow Lip Serum, but much thinner and much more slippy. But I really like that this color, Lilac Layer, adds just the tiniest flush. So that when I want something that makes me look a little bit better, this is like a perfect no makeup makeup product. Because it's more slippy, it's not gonna last a long time. I do find that I have to reapply it quite a lot. But you know, when you have a wonderful product that feels good, reapplying doesn't really matter. When you smell them, these are also unscented, but on my lips, I just kind of taste something a tiny bit sweet. So that's nice. A lot of unscented lip products actually just end up smelling like plasticky and I hate that, but this is an unscented lip product that actually has no scent. So I really like this. I think that this is unique to my collection, but if you were to make me choose between the Make Beauty Serum and the Fit Glow Lip Serum, there is just no comparison. Fit Glow is just the most nourishing, the most comfortable, the most cushiony. This is still cushiony, but it just doesn't have that grip or that nourishment that I love, but I'm happy that I own it. Next up is a new obsession for me. The Dior Addict Stellar Balm Gloss is the best Dior formula. Everyone goes on and on about the lip glow. They go on and on about the lip oil, but let me tell you the Stellar Gloss is the most comfortable Dior lip formula. The only issue is that so many of their shades have shimmer in them, and I just would much rather prefer a creamy shade, but I've been told that you can't feel the shimmer on the lips, so that's good. This is in the shade 640 J'adore. Again, companies are killing it with these applicators that are bigger and kind of more flexible and fun. 640 J'adore is just this amazing, peachy nude with a hint of pink. It's not too peachy for me. I don't like anything too peachy. I love that this applicator, see how it's flexible? Love that. Mm. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, the reason why I have all these kind of balmy lip products is that I'm going to be filming a best and worst liquid lip balm video at the end of this month. So I've been collecting a lot of products for that. This is one of them. The Dior website describes this as a balm gloss. So, 
I think that's right. It's such a dream to apply. And I think this is on the scale of a medium weight texture. It's not super like light and slippery, kind of like the others. There's a little bit more staying power here. It's just a touch less slippery, but it's still thin. It's still lightweight. So this is not a sticky lip gloss that's going to like do weird things to your mouth. It's still super lightweight, but it just has a touch of some bombiness that makes it a little bit cushiony. And I think this is amazing. And I just find once I get into something that has a little bit more grip, it just kind of adds more of that sort of glass like effect to kind of smooth the lip lines. So while the other two were really lightweight, really comfortable, you will barely feel them. This though, I think looks more flattering on my actual lip skin. This has a scent that smells to me a little bit like cotton candy. I personally like it. I think it's really nice. Next up in terms of Dior formulas, I don't love. This is the Dior Lip Glow, but ugh, I love the color. This is the shade Mahogany. Everyone loves this shade. It's incredibly sheer in the Lip Glow formula. I just wish they made this in the Dior Attic Stellar Gloss. But the shade is this beautiful brownie berry. It just looks so nice, so flattering on so many people. And I'll do a sheer layer first. Yeah, that is a nice, nice color. And the thing is with the Dior Lip Glow formula, I know that they had reformulated to make it a little bit more nourishing. I do agree that this is better than the old formula, but it still doesn't feel nourishing to me. And I think possibly that might just be unique to me. Um, there's something about the peppermint in this that makes my lips, I think, feel drier. Peppermint tends to irritate my mouth. And what happens is because peppermint is in so many like lip plumpers, I end up not being able to use those because they destroy my lips. And so my lips actually feel more dry when this wears off than before. And I think it's because of the peppermint. I can just tell my, like my, my mouth doesn't like it, but super pretty. And if you don't mind something that's pepperminty, then you'll probably love this. Very comfortable, sheer, but buildable. This is about, you know, as much as you can possibly build it up the way that I'm wearing it right now. In the shades in the lip glow and the lip oil family are just beautiful, like sheer but buildable, wide range across all different kinds of colors. It adds a little bit of shine. It's just that the peppermint isn't my favorite thing, but this shade mahogany, I don't think you can beat it. It's stunning. Out of everything I'm showing today, this baby is my obsession. The Bobbi Brown Crushed Oil Infused Gloss. People have been telling me to try these for years, especially my friend Matilda. Her channel's Matilda on video. I'm sure you all already subscribed to her. She has so much content on these, swatching the entire Bobbi Brown Crushed line. I mean, definitely go check out her channel if you're interested for like great swatches. She'd been DMing me that I gotta try this product and I, I pushed back every time because I would test it at Sephora and the testers always smelled like pure crayons in plastic and i just could not get past that but when i was in miami john surprised me with a gift card to sephora so i ran in and i was like you know what this color is just so me it looks so fun i know the formula is great i just maybe i'll get past the scent and i tried a new one when i bought it and it was totally different than the testers clearly the testers at sephora had expired and like are just left out for ages and get super gross these don't actually have a really terrible smell like i thought they did so first Love the clear applicator, love the flexible paddle applicator, and the color Slow Jam, oh, just the absolute perfect reddish brownie berry of my dreams. And when I wore this, John even complimented me at dinner. He was like, I don't know what lip color you're wearing, but it's new and I really like it. I just love that he's so in touch with my makeup. Like he, you know, it's really cute that he can like try to uh, connect on that because it's something that's so outside of his comfort zone but this is a really comfortable formula. I would say it's also medium weight, but it is um, thicker and more grippy than the Dior formula. So I'll shut up and apply it. Sheerly, that's just a touch of it. I mean, how nice, how nice is that? Slow jam for the win. That is the color of my dreams. It just, I can throw it on with you know no eyeshadow on and I just feel put together, sophisticated, like zoom ready, you know what I mean. Or you can make it more bold. And it does have 
a beautiful amount of shine, but it's not like a high shine vinyl kind of gloss. And it's also not what I think of when I think of a typical oil gloss formula. To me, the Fawn Beauty Lip Serum Gloss is a cross between a gloss and a lip oil, primarily more on the lip oil side. The Bobbi Brown Crushed Oil Infused Gloss, however, to me, is like a lip gloss, a liquid lip balm, and a little bit of lip oil. I don't really like lip oils because I just find that they're, they just don't add any nourishment. They like sink in and disappear. They're just too lightweight, too slippery. This is just the perfect hybrid. It's just a comfortable, somewhat shiny gloss. And when the gloss and the color fades away, your lips feel a little bit balmy. So if I just kind of blot it away, you can see the shine's gone, but I still have a little bit of something something there whereas with a lip oil or something much more lightweight it would just disappear there would be nothing left on your lips if you blotted it off but there's still a little bit of balminess and comfort and these are unscented or there's like the tiniest hint of a citrus and i still get a little bit of that crayon scent that i don't like i think it's more noticeable in like the the bullet lipstick crushed line but i really don't mind it at all in fact I think that this is a perfect dupe for Dior Mahogany. So check it out. If this is Bobbi Brown's Slow Jam, ooh, that was, destroy that. Let's see if I can build this up. I swear these are so similar and I know people want a mahogany dupe. I mean, dude, did I just break the internet? I feel like I had to because everyone loves the shade mahogany, but you can get it in a better formula, which is Bobbi Brown crushed oil infused gloss in slow jam hello am i crazy i know that this is a touch more like berry and this is a touch more brown actually hold on screw it let's do this i'm gonna do one half here i gotta build it up okay mahogany slow jam Hell yeah. Can you tell the difference? Cause I can't. Holy shit. <laughs> Look at that. I just duped your mahogany. Fuck yeah. All right. Hell yeah. That's a win. My luck's coming back, baby. The last two lip products I have are the Bobbi Brown Crushed, what is this? Crushed Liquid Lip in Smoothie Move and the Naturium Phyto Glow Lip Balm in Petal. I got both of these for my liquid lip balm video. I got all these for my liquid lip balm video. This is the next up in terms of like thickness and grippiness because this is the heaviest. It is a liquid lip balm formula. But since we're on Bobbi Brown in these similar colors, I'm just gonna apply this one. So this is Smoothie Move. Very interesting looking applicator. And it is a liquid lip, so more pigment. I don't love super pigmented lip products, so I'm just gonna kind of blot. Again, this is the Bobbi Brown Crushed Lip in Smoothie Move. Did I get that right? I don't know. Smoothie Move, like, sounds like diarrhea. Am I, I don't know. Am I wrong? I don't know. In terms of liquid lipsticks, certainly the most comfortable I've ever tried. And it's still pretty lightweight. It's just very pigmented. I wouldn't call this particularly nourishing. Like I wouldn't reach for it when my lips were dry, but it feels super comfortable. Doesn't feel slippery like it's gonna slide around my mouth. So I feel like if I wanted to wear this out for a bolder lip, this would be a really good formula. So while this isn't my favorite kind of look for a comfortable liquid lipstick, this is phenomenal. The last lip product is this Naturium Phyto Glow Lip Balm in the shade Petal. And I just saw in the packaging, it says, tube made with sustainable bio resin derived from sugarcane. So that's cool. You can uh, recycle it after you use it, but I'm sure you have to clean it out. And so that gets kind of tricky, but really surprised by this. I put this on yesterday once and I was like, damn. Comes with this, uh, it's a squeezy tube, metal applicator. I hate squeezy tube products. Hate them, hate them, hate them, hate them. But this is great. This is so thick that it doesn't just squeeze all out. Like, you know how a Lancome Juicy Tube, you squeeze it a little, it's like, and it just gets everywhere. That's why I hate squeezy tubes. Like I will avoid a squeezy tube lip product at all costs. 
This one's great though. Because it's thick, like I'll squeeze it. Yeah, it barely comes out because it's thick and doesn't have like a, a big hole in the applicator. And the metal applicator feels really nice, really cooling. Mm. Little hint, hint of something sweet, but no scent. Mm. And it's thick. You can see it's got a little bit of shine to it, but it's thick, like it stays around. In fact, I realized yesterday, this feels on the lips almost exactly like the original Bite Agave Lip Mask. Like I've been looking for a dupe for that for ages. Sadly, when I wore this yesterday all day, it did not leave my lips feeling much better than they were before. My, my lips are particularly really dry right now. And the Bite Agave lip mask will solve any problems for me. This definitely feels like a lip mask with color. I love the comfort. I think it kind of adds a flattering glass-like shine. I love that it has lo like long lasting staying power because of that kind of like grip, that thickness that I love. It just wasn't the most nourishing lip balm. Like if my lips are really bad, I wouldn't reach for this. But on a day-to-day -day basis, this is going to be my new go-to. And I would love to get it in the clear shade, keep it at my car, my desk and all that. So if you loved the way the original Bite Agave lip mask felt, I would check this out. It comes in a few shades. I got this on Amazon because I had a gift card. I'm going to keep testing this out when my lips aren't quite as dry to see if this is really nourishing just on a day-to-day -day level. But this color petal, really beautiful pink, love the shine, love a slight little sweet scent. The metal applicator is really comfortable and it doesn't squeeze out too much product. So I actually like the packaging. Really, really impressed. Let's move on to eyeshadow. So by the way, I already did a full demo and review of all of these products on my Instagram. I saved them to individual brand highlights. So if you want to see pictures and applications of the Bobbi Brown, go to my Bobbi Brown highlight. If you want to see the Dior, go to my Dior. And I have all my Dior lip swatches there. Um, same with Fawn Beauty, Make, all of that. And same with Give Me Glow. So I already applied Rose's Remix the other day. And I'm just going to show you, you barely need to touch it and you get insane payoff. So I'm not going to use these because I just showed them on my Instagram yesterday. Um, let's do coconut slushy is the least impactful, but really pretty glamorous right here. Wow. It's kind of that like greenish silver pajamas. I'm sure is going to be a favorite on my pinky. Wow. And then I'm sure the one you're interested in. Oh, wow. That is soft. Look at that glitter. What? What? Hold on. Also, I have swatches of all the Give Me Glow shadows on my Instagram, so check out those highlights. I'm sorry. Excuse me, what? Huh? Insane. Insane. Roses Remix, Coconut Slushy, Glamorous, Pajamas, Glittery Champagne. Oh, these were $5 each. $5. Also, they look and apply like the M Cosmetics um, Cosmic Pearl Eyeshadows, but these are way better. They're $5, they have more impact, they don't make my lids look like dry and old, and they don't fade away like the M Cosmetics do. So if you wanted to try the Cosmic Pearls, go for Give Me Glow. So I have actually never touched this Makeup by Mario Master Metallics palette. Since I'm moving today, I don't wanna go for any of the crazy colors, although I am so excited to play with this. Really feeling that pinky cranberry, wow. Oh my God, and the green teal shade, oof, yeah, I'm excited. But because I'm moving today, I gotta be out and about. I gotta stop at gas stations and stuff. I don't want something crazy. So let me just swatch some of the more wearable neutral shades. Obviously a champagne, but I feel like I can do more than that, right? So this one. Hmm. Hold on. Pretty much like matches my skin color. Maybe that's why it's not showing up. Let me do the gold over here, the opposite end. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. 
Yeah. Oh, beautiful. Yeah. Ooh, these are nice. Now I'm going to do that bottom rosy terracotta. Ooh, the yellow gold. Let's do it right here. Ooh. Nice. Rusty cranberry. Mmm. Pretty. I just want to swatch this so badly. Like, ah, oh, that's fun. Okay, we'll do the green too. I got to do the green. Yeah. Ooh, these are so good. Based on my hand, I think I might just go with the gold, but I know you're probably like, bitch, you're so boring. <laughs> but like, I'm moving today, so give me a break. Let me just go right in to the, the gold. Well, yeah. I guess that is not super wearable. Like, that's a yellow gold. That's really pretty. I like this formula. It's not like, bam, like, give me glow where those you touch and you like, there's fallout and, you know. These are softer. There's a little bit of sheerness to them, but they're buildable. And I like that. Going back in with the gold. I feel like Barbie with this eye and the pink lip. I'm not gonna see what would happen if I just put this like kind of orangey shade in the crease, just a little. Well, I've got to go help John move. In fact, you can see the U-Haul from here. There you go. That's our car with all our uh, U-Haul, our all our shit in there. Let me know if you have any questions on these products. Happy to answer them in the comment section below. Don't forget that I have all of these try-ons on my Instagram highlights at State of Kate. If you like this video, I hope you'll subscribe and I'll see you next time.